like your brothers and sisters? I have two brothers. When we were growing up, we fought like crazy. One day we would be arch enemies and the next day we would be best friends. Jacob and Esau were twins. The mom liked Jacob the best and the dad liked Esau the best. But Jacob and Esau didn't like each other at all. They hated each other's guts. They even started fighting inside of their mother's stomach. When they were born, Esau came out first, but Jacob was holding on to Esau's heel because he wanted out first. I'm a twin, and we were big for twins. We each weighed over seven pounds. Because of the cramped conditions, I have a weird ear. My mother said my ear is bent because I pushed my brother back to the back to make sure that I came out first. And knowing me, that could be true because I did come out first. Put that on the record. Jacob and Esau looked different. Esau had red hair all over his body and Jacob's skin was as smooth as a baby's. Never mind. As they grew up, they were even more different. Esau was an outdoorsman. Jacob liked the indoors. Because Esau was the oldest, he got this thing called a birthright. In ancient days, if you got the birthright, you got everything. You were in charge of the family's land, money, and all their stuff. And eventually Esau would be Jacob's boss. One day, Esau gave up his birthright. He had come home from hunting all day long and he was starving. Jacob just happened to be cooking up some stew. Esau said, give me some of that. And Jacob said, it'll cost you. Esau said, I'll pay you whatever you want. Jacob says, give me your birthright. Esau said, sold. This would be like you paying a million dollars for a cup of soup. Esau sold something priceless to get something temporary. Here she comes, Desi McNeil, direct from the studios of FWC. It's Sell Your Soul! Today we have for you a bright, shiny new soul featuring eternal conditioning and heavenly lights. It has durable, all spiritual protection. It can be all yours if the price is right. All you have to do is guess the price of this newly minted soul. Is it the same price as a new car? No! You're right. Let's continue. Is it the same price as a three-story house? No! That's absolutely right. Same price as your friendships? No. You're right. Moving on. Is it the same price as the world's largest diamond? Yes! Ooh, sorry, that's not correct. The soul is priceless. Better luck next time. Your soul is priceless. Do not trade it for something temporary, like your friend's approval. Matthew 16, 26. And what do you benefit if you gain the whole world but lose your own soul? Is there anything worth more than your soul? <laughs> 